I don't think the sc <laughs> I don't think the Scots will take the shortage quite well. To be to be honest with you. So we'll just need to wait. Welcome to the Amid Life Traveler podcast, where we want you to go see the world, discover interesting stories about people, places, and practical advice to help you plan your next vacation. Hello, and thanks for listening to the Midlife Traveler podcast. We are in the middle of season one, which is largely a series on Scotland, where you get to hear and discover Scotland through the voice and the opinions of a Scotsman named James. So this episode is one of the very last ones around Scottish whiskey. And if you've been following the other episodes, you've probably learned you know, James's uh, theory of how whiskey is a time machine, learned about bottling dates, about the massive growth in globalization of Scottish distilleries, and maybe how to, you know, order a whiskey or not to order a whiskey, a single malt whiskey, when you're in Scotland in a bar. But this episode, this is going to cover something that's possibly shocking and a bit newsworthy. It's a warning. It's a warning to let you know that there is clearly a shortage of single malt Scottish whiskey coming. This is certain. It's, it's going to happen. Because based on how many years it takes to produce for the aging process, which could be a minimum of 10 years and possibly more, up to, up to 50 years, you combine that aging process with the massive surge in globalization of Scottish whiskey and the huge growth and popularity of Scottish whiskey in the Asian market, and there simply is not enough. There, there was not enough produced that is currently today in the aging process that will meet the future predicted demands for single malt Scottish whiskey. So there's a shortage coming of single malt whiskey, for sure. And as James describes, this is not the first time that an alcohol company has faced this situation, but it's still uncertain as to how this is going to pan out for the Scottish distilleries and for the single malt whiskey drinkers. For me, this was really interesting news to hear, and I thought it was something people might want to know about. So I'm going to share this. It's a short story, and the audio quality isn't the best because it was taken in the field, but it really does give you a very Scottish perspective on, hey guys, there's a shortage coming, here's why, and uh, I guess it sounds like the Scots might not take it all that well. So here's James to tell you this story and break the news to you that there is a shortage coming of single malt Scottish whiskey. But because of this huge market, most of the, the distilleries announced last year that 2019, 2020, there is going to be a shortage because they could not anticipate 10 years ago, 15 years ago, and 18 years ago, what the market would be like today. So they just, they didn't cask enough. So we're not sure what we're, we're going to do about that. Um, it's not the only, you know, alcohol company that that's happened to. I believe it was either either Bullet Bourbon or Maker's Mark. The same thing happened to them. Their whiskey got very, their bourbon got very popular, and so it should. It's a quality bourbon, and they announced their customers, "Look, guys, we're going to have a shortage because when we barreled this stuff eight years ago, we didn't know how popular." So they gave their client base an option. And I thought that was quite kind of them. They said, you guys can vote on it. You're our customers. There's two options. The two options are, we run out. That's the first option, we run out. Or the second option is, what we have in our batch barrels, we water it down slightly and we discount the price of the whiskey. Um, so I don't know... <sighs> I don't know if we would I don't know if we would be allowed to do that or if we would get away with that in Scotland because that changes the ruling of single malt. Or if we'll just ha I don't think this 
<laughs> I don't think the Scots will take the shortage quite well to be, to be honest with you so we'll just need to wait and what we're starting to see and I can t they're already anticipating the shortage because a lot of these single malt distilleries Tamatin, Dalwini and so on and so forth they're starting to produce a lot more blended whisky which the process for blended whisky is a matter of months rather than a matter of years and it's just to try and give people another option um, than to just always buy in the single malt whisky.